Welcome back sports fans, I'm Mark Lowe and this is your Tuesday Sports Report. As Ray said yesterday, the women's volleyball team is rolling through the competition and that has got them climbing the charts in the latest coaches poll. Lady Chosa ranked 19th overall this week, bolstering an 18-3 record on the season with a 9-2 record in the MIAA. They are currently tied with Central Missouri for second in the MIAA. This is the highest ranking the Lady Broncos have received this year so far and they have no signs of slowing down with nine games left in the season. Taking it over to the court, the men's basketball team is back tonight with a scrimmage at home. The Broncos are coming off a 26-6 season after being eliminated in the first round of the Central Regional Tournament last year. They start their preseason tonight with a scrimmage against in-town rival Oklahoma Christian. This is a great chance to see how the Broncos will look after a good season last year, where they made it all the way to the Central Regional Tournament. The scrimmage starts tonight at 6 at the Hamilton Fieldhouse here in Edmond, and admission is free. And speaking of scrimmages, another UCO team is getting set to play tonight over on the softball diamond. The Lady Cho's softball team will be getting some reps in tonight's matchup against Murray State College. The Lady Cho's are coming off a phenomenal season, as per usual, and are looking to get training started off right. This matchup tonight starts at 5, which is pretty soon, so be sure to go get a first look at your 2024 softball team at the Jerry Pinkston Stadium right here in Edmond. Now over to the ice rink, the hockey team is on the road this week to the foothills of the Rockies for a matchup against the University of Colorado. The Broncos are sitting in ninth place in the Division I men's hockey rankings with a perfect record of 6-0 with 18 points scored overall. The Buffs are ranked 31st overall in the rankings with a record of 6-2 and only 12 points scored. This two-game series is the last road trip for the Broncos until January where they'll be back home next week to start the four-month-long homestand against the University of Mary. Good luck and roll shows. Moving on over to the international sports news, the Olympics have announced plans to incorporate five new games to the 2028 Games in Los Angeles. The Olympic Committee announced that flag football, baseball, softball, cricket, squash, and lacrosse will all be additions to the 2028 Summer Games. Baseball, softball, cricket, and lacrosse have all been in the Olympics before, but flag football and squash make their Olympic debut. Personally, I'm excited to see these new additions, as well as some of the older sports, such as lacrosse and baseball, to make their returns. And speaking of making some returns to the lights, the MLB Conference Championship Series and the big leagues are underway, featuring a familiar face and some that haven't seen the big stage in over a decade. The American League has already played two games of their championship series between the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. The Rangers, who haven't been to the conference finals since 2011, currently have the 2-0 series lead over the defending champs. They continue the story tomorrow in Arlington for two games on the Rangers' home turf. The National League also has a good storyline developing between the Philadelphia Phillies and Arizona Diamondbacks. The Phillies took Game 1 last night over the D-backs and meet again tonight to duke it out for Game 2. Personally, I'm pulling for a Rangers-Phillies World Series. CJ, Miracle, how about you guys? Who do you guys have? You know, I, I agree with you, Mark. I think the World Series will end up being Phillies versus Rangers. Uh, I, I hope that's what it's going to be because, um, you know, with Philly, you got to love JT Real Muto. Shout out to the pride of Carl Albert right there. But uh, it's just going to be a fun series, you know. Uh, the Rangers, they've been on a tear lately, 7-0 and in the postseason. I feel like they have a really good chance to go on a World Series run this year. I actually love baseball. Don't know too much about what's going on. I just know whenever they hit a home run. But I actually really love to watch it. But after that, stay tuned, guys. Destiny Pittman will have your last look at weather.